What's going on everyone and welcome back to Restoring Style. Here we are with episode number 14 and it's going to be a huge one as we take on Real Madrid at the Bernabeu in the Champions League and we also face up against our biggest rivals in Romanian football, Dinamo Bucharest. But before we get into anything, I've got a little confession to make because I've been a bit of an idiot. So after the last episode, of course, where we played Wolfsburg, usually after I record, you know, I save the game and either play on until the next uh, recording point or, you know, just come off the game for a little bit, have a little have a bit of a break. So anyway, after recording the Wolfsburg game, somehow, I don't know how I done it, but I exited the game without saving. Um, so to avoid any, you know, accusations of cheating or whatever, I decided to uh, go back to the Wolfsburg game and instant result the match until we lost. And that took a lot longer than you may think it did because for some reason, every time I instant resulted the game, we won. But um, I don't want to, you know, you know, be accused of cheating, as I said. So, you know, I kept on instant result until we lost. And, you know, eventually I got to the point where we lost 4-1. I mean, we lost 1-0 originally, as you saw, but... You know, I, honestly, I couldn't be bothered to keep instant result until we lost by a one goal margin. So I just left it. We lost 4 1. The other result actually stayed the same between Leon and Real Madrid. They both drew as they did previously. So that is the situation. Uh, it's a bit annoying, but, you know, we did lose that game. and But hopefully, you know, that doesn't cost us in terms of the goal difference. But that is the group standings after this one game. So, yeah. Of course, I thought I'd let you guys know that. But results since the last episode have been good. In the league, we've only, uh, we've played two games in the league. Won both of them without conceding, scoring six goals. First up, we beat Brazov 1-0. Very tight game. We dominated it, but we couldn't score uh, for some reason. We were we just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. Eventually, we did and got the three points. We also beat Rapid Bucharest. Of course, a very satisfying 5-0 victory. One of our you know rivals, Rapid Bucharest. Uh, they had a man sent off in the game, but before you know the damage was already done before they had that sent off. We were cruising in the game, and I'll show you it five nil. Yanku getting a hat trick, wonderful, wonderful player, developing very nicely. Got big interest in him from the Premier League, but I'm not going to be looking to sell him. 21 years old, really, really big part of what we're trying to do here. Kazira as well getting two goals there. You can see how dominant we were, 16 shots on target in the game, and we've also made it through the next uh, to the next round of the Romanian Cup. Of course. The remaining cup is going to be a, a, folk, a big focus of mine this year. We had a bit of a heartbreaking time in it last year, I should say. Um, we've made it through to the seventh round. We beat uh, FC Bihor, a lower league team, 4-1 away from home. And we will face Panduri in the next round, which is in October next month. So... Yeah, that's just uh, an update on how things are going. I'll show you the league table, actually. Uh, you can see 11 games gone. We're le still level 1 points with Petrol all, um, But, you know, as I said previously, I think as the season progresses, you'll start to see us pull away from the rest. Dinamo Bucharest, the one beating in the league, actually. they done that last year. They went unbeaten for a really long spell. And then second half of the season, they just had a disastrous spell. Uh, which uh, knocked him out of contention. But yeah, that is the league situation. This is our team for the game against Real Madrid. You can see the mentality of set up defensive team instructions. Look, I'm, I'm not going to uh, go to the Bernabeu and hope that we can score or, you know, nick a result. I'm just going to try. I'm honestly, I'm just going to try and defend for my life in this one. We're going to the Bernabeu. I think, you know, the chances of us even scoring a goal is very, very low. Although... Last season, of course, we played Real Madrid in the knockout stages of the Champions League. I mean, we got battered at home. Was it 4-0 or 4-1? I think it was 4-0. Um, I actually can't quite remember, to be honest. But we got battered at home in the first leg. And somehow managed to draw one all away from home at the Bernabeu. So we have got previous of getting results at the Bernabeu. So maybe you never know. But I'm going to start off defensively. Just basically play for a draw, honestly, in this one. But this is a team we've got. Alauskas in goal. Back three of Hedge to Pap. And Albatazzi, Lucas on the right, uh, Fabio, Braga and Stanku in the middle, Tanase on the left, Iancu uh, in the Trecotista role. And we welcome back Andone, uh, of course he's been out injured for a little while, the new signing, our record signing in fact, the young Romanian forward who he brought in from Cordoba in the summer. Uh, been out for just over a month or so, but good to have him back and in the team. He's going to be partnering Cazero up front. Cazero's had a wonderful start to the season. Nine goals in nine league games, 14 goals 
in 15 games in all competition after struggling last year. I mean, look, he only scored three goals last year. I mean, he had limited game time, but, you know, the improvement is very, very clear to see. But that is the team for this game against Real Madrid. As I said, a point would be a miracle here, to be honest. But, um, you know, we've proven we can get a point here. We can get a result here. So maybe, just maybe, you we can get something here. So we've done well to keep things tight so far. First 20 minutes, we've had a lot more possession than Real Madrid, which is very, very surprising. You can see there, 56% of the possession. Real Madrid, of course, having more shots, but they haven't posed any threats so far. Although the Schweinsteiger on the ball, dictating play in that central midfield into Modric. Kroos on it now. The talent in their side, of course, ridiculous. James Rodriguez brings it forward, goes and plays it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo for on goal. Well defended, though, there to block him out. And Real Madrid on the attack again. Tony Crows, Cristiano Ronaldo. Back to Tony Crows again. Back to Cristiano Ronaldo. Nods it into Benzema with the header. Brilliant save by Alauskis. We're hanging on at the moment, but we're doing well to keep Real Madrid out so far. Corner comes in from Crows, but it's well dealt with. We've done incredibly well so far. And could we actually create a chance? We're on the ball at the moment. Tanase plays it to Iancu. Surely not gonna, we're not going to score and take the lead in the Bernabeu. Cazero into Andone. What can he do? He scores! Absolute scenes. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? We've taken the lead in the Bernabeu, guys. Wow. Wow, I actually cannot, but I'm speechless. I cannot believe that. And Done shows great composure, holds up the ball, lovely finish into the bottom corner, and Stal Bucharest lead in the Bernabeu. And we may be looking to make it 2 0. And Done on the ball into Gabriel Iancu. What can he do with it? He plays it into Kazeru. Oh, what a chance! Kazeru played him behind, he got himself in a good position. He should have done a lot better, but he plays it straight into the hands of Casillas. And at half-time, Stal Bucharest lead 1-0 at the Bernabeu. I can't quite believe I'm saying that, but we do. The tactics have been spot on so far. We've defended brilliantly. And, you know, we managed to break out and get that goal. And Done with it. Lovely, lovely finish. And um, we just need more of the same in the second half. I cannot quite believe that we are winning against Real Madrid away from home. But we are. And we've been magnificent so far. Come on, boys. Let's keep this up. You know, if we get a draw, as I said, it'll be magnificent. But a, a win is something I could never have dreamed of coming into this game. But we'll see what happens in the second half. And we're on it again. Lucas, the former Real Madrid player on this right wing, plays it to Nikorso Stanku. Back out to Lucas. Been fantastic for us so far, Lucas. Into Iyanku. And Doni's there again. Kazeru! I'm sorry, headphone users, but we have just taken a 2-0 lead at the Bernabeu. Claudio Cazero with it. It was a bit fortunate, but the build-up play was lovely. Good passing. It falls, fortunately, to Andone there from the tackle from Alexandro. Rebounds off Casillas. Cazero's there to poke it home. Stal Bucharest 2, Real Madrid 0. Right then, 63rd minute of game. Trying to get uh, time to get some fresh legs onto the pitch. Andone's done a wonderful job, but he's just coming back from injury, so I'm going to take him off. We're going to bring on Tukadine up front just to give us a little bit more fresh legs up front. Um, I'm also, no, I'm not going to make any more changes. I'm going to leave it how it is. You know, we're just under half an hour away from winning at the Bernabeu. And honestly, if we go on to win this game, this has got to be contender for result of the series. Well, it is result of the series. There's no doubt about that. But, I mean, it's got to be a contender for one of my best ever results when football manager. However, James Rodriguez plays in the corner. Schweinsteiger's there. Alauskis has been a god all game. He gets in another brilliant save. Every player is literally putting their bodies on the line for this result. I don't think Gareth Bauer will start in the game, but he's on the pitch now. He's bursting down that left wing. He's going to get in a ball. Benzema's there. Well defended again. Again, as I said, players putting their bodies on the line to defend this league. Carvajal, though. Real Madrid, as you would expect, putting... A Crazy amounts of pressure on us now. Ronaldo into Carvajal. He hits the pose. We get it clear and we survive once again. We're getting that bit of luck that we need in the game so far. And with just 10 minutes left, we're inching ever closer to a momentous victory. An historic victory with Benzema with the strike. Again, Alauskas with the save onto the bar. But it falls straight back down to Benzema. And it's time to make some changes. I've already on defensive, but we're going contained now. It's time to just try as much as we can to, you know, do anything that we can do to um, close up this game. 
Uh, we're going to play even safer, lower the tempo. We're going to take down, close down much more of... I'm um, not sure much el what else I can do, but Benzema has scored. We'll see it again in 3D. It's been a frantic game. I, I, I'm honestly not believing what I'm seeing, to be honest. Alauskas again with a wonderful save. He's been so good. Oh, what is he doing there, though? He's only mistake of the game, really, there. That, I don't know what he was trying to do, picking up the ball. But anyway, we're 10 minutes away from winning at the Bernabeu. However, Schweinsteiger in the 87th minute. Lucas gets it clear. Cazero picks it up and we could be on the counter. Tukadin just hold up the ball. Plays it out wide to Tenace. Take it in the corner, my boy. Do not do anything stupid. He loses it out to Ronaldo. And Real Madrid are going to hit us on the counter. It's like Ronaldo bursting away into Schweinsteiger to Lucas Silva. Oh, no. Do not do this to us. Cristiano Ronaldo. Hedgeda gets it clear. Alexandro on it. James Rodriguez. I'm not liking this at all, guys. I'm really not. Lucas Silva. They've got a bit of an overload. Cristiano Ronaldo. But as he gives away a penalty, no. Oh, my God. We were so close. We were so close. I literally, what could I have done? We've got to hope Alowski saves it. But we were so close to winning at the Bernabeu. And it's all unfolded in the final 10 minutes. James Rodriguez steps up, makes it 2-2. And that is gutting. It really is. Of course, I said coming into the game, a point at the Bernabeu would be wonderful. It would be amazing. And to go 2-0 and up and it, to see it all unfold in the final 10 minutes, I'm gutted. And there is the final whistle at the Bernabeu. I am a little bit disappointed. I am a bit disappointed to to be 2-0 up in the final 10 minutes um, and end up drawing the game. You know, you're going to be a, a bit upset, but I can't fault the performance overall. You know, for much of the game, um, by the last 10 minutes, we were sensational. You can see Real Madrid completely battered us. But to go and get a 2-0 lead at the Bernabeu, amazing, amazing result. Um, but, you know, we're still in with a chance in this group. Of course, uh, Wolfsburg and uh, Leon drew their game. So, you know, we can, we've can we proven that we can compete in this group. Of course, I said coming into it is going to be very difficult for us to progress. But with results like that, we're showing that we can compete. But anyway, we've got to focus um, back on the league, of course. Now, in a few days' time, we've got Dinamo Bucharest. Right then, I'm actually going to be setting up with the same team that we played against Real Madrid. Of course, um, our fitness wasn't great towards the end of the game, but, you know, the boys who were out there, they seemed fit enough to play in this game against Dinamo Bucharest. Of course, Bucharest unbeaten at the moment in the league, so we'll be looking to, you know, inflict their first defeat of the season will be wonderful in this huge derby game. Of course, in this fixture last year, it ended 4-4. So if that's anything to go by, we're in for a very exciting game. I've changed the tactics uh, for this one, of course, in the game against Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. I'll set up defensively. We're going back to how we usually play in the league. Attacking. Uh, we've got the defensive line much higher up, of course. We're going to be looking to take the game to Dinamo Bucharest and looking to win this game. And, of course, after they beat us in the Super Cup... At the start of the season, 4-1. We're really out for revenge in this game. And here we are on the attack as well. Tanase into Iancu. Can he win a penalty? He does win a penalty. Foul by the Dinamo Bucharest player. Just a minute into the game. And we could be about to take the league. I think it's Kazeru who is going to step up for the penalty. It is the informed man. Steps up. Lovely composed penalty into the top corner. Sends the keeper the wrong way. And what a start to the derby. We may be looking to make it 2-0 shortly after because we're on the attack again. Iancu's dispossessed though by Matai and Dinamo Bucharest actually going to hit us on the counter. Mansali on it. Plays it out wide to Ricardo Machado into Petre into Nikolai and he caused us loads of problems last year. Marius Nikolai with the equalising goal. Dinamo Bucharest's first shot of the game and it looks like we're going to be in for another exciting derby guys two goals in the first five minutes or so but i'm for, uh, disappointed that we've conceded so soon after taking the lead Dinamo Bucharest on the attack again. It's a free kick floated in. Ricardo Machado off the post. Arlauskis, it hits him and hits the post again and somehow we survive. Dinamo Bucharest a little bit unlucky there. About 10 minutes to go until half-time. Can we take a lead going into the break? Tanase on this ball in the left wing. Cazero with the shot. Bit of a poor effort. He had a bit of time there maybe to control it and pick his spot. But he goes for it for the first time and it's straight into the keeper's hands. 
There it is then, half time in the derby. It's one always been a very, very even game. Of course, we took the lead very early on through that Kizero penalty, but just a few minutes later, uh, they equalised uh, equalize through Marius Nikolai to uh, make this game evenly poised going into the second half. Early on in the second half, and it's Dinamo Bucharest on the attack. We look a bit out of shape defensively. Matai is through on goal. He gets the shot away. They hit the woodwork again. There's a scramble. We get it clear, and Dinamo Bucharest may feel a bit unfortunate that they're not actually in the lead in this derby game as the corner comes in. Stank you deals with it, and that will probably be the end of the highlight. So then it's time to make some substitutions. It's been um, an even game, in fair. I mean, Dinamo Bucharest, as I said, they may feel a little bit unfortunate after hitting the woodwork twice that they're not in front. But, you know, overall, the game's been pretty even. But I need to make some changes to try and change the flow of the game. I feel like Dinamo Bucharest are, you know, having a little bit better of the chances. So we're going to bring on Horozovsky in the midfield for Stanku, who has been pretty poor. Um, also, Braga's been pretty poor, but I haven't... I don't want to really change the defensive midfield. I want to just make some attacking changes. So we're also going to bring off Tanase. And we're going to bring on Gabriel Inache on the right wing. Uh, left wing, sorry. And it's Dinamo Bucharest looking to build another attack. Nikolai is through on goal. He's a poacher. He's a fantastic finisher. And he's given Dinamo Bucharest the lead in the derby. Oh no, that is not good at all. This is a game we do not want to be losing. We'll see it again. Defensively, look at the defending. It's just so poor. Such a contrast to uh, the defending at the Bernabeu just a few days before this game. Uh, so I'm going to make some changes now. We're going to go more direct. We're going to try and push to get this equalising goal. Hopefully we can do it. It's, um, the performance hasn't been fantastic, to be honest. Um, but, you know, with 12 minutes to go, maybe, you know, hopefully we can pull something out of the bag and at least take a point away from this game. With five minutes to go, can we call some late drama? And Done into Cazero. He's missed a couple of chances in this game. He hasn't been as clinical as he usually is. And he probably should have scored there. And it remains 2-1 to Dinamo Bucharest with a few minutes to go. And there is full-time Dinamo Bucharest win the derby. The first time they've beaten us in the league in this uh, save so far. And that is bitterly disappointing. They remain unbeaten. And that also puts them level on points with us on 26 points. Uh, Petrol lost their game a day before this. So they still remain on 26 points as well. So at the moment, it's very, very tight at the top. I said that, you know, as the season progresses, I think, you know, you'll start to see us pull away. But I don't know. Maybe Dinamo Bucharest are good enough to pose a title challenge. Maybe Petrol are, you know, good enough to pose a serious title challenge. But that is so, so disappointing to lose. Uh, in the derby but we've got to move on I mean we've got Cluj coming up in the league next and then we've got Leon in the Champions League um, next episode just looking at the fixtures I think we'll have Leon uh, we'll have a Leon double header I think actually in the Champions League so we'll have the, the the home game against Leon and then we'll have the away game that will be the next episode then the episode after that we'll have Wolfsburg and we'll have Real Madrid also in the Champions League. But if you did enjoy this episode, be sure to leave it a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel just yet, please do subscribe. Thank you guys for watching once again. It's been Halfback FM, and I'll see you guys.